Hello guys, recently on YouTube I received two similar comments about the same thing, the same topic, QR code and login with that. So in this video I will show you a demo project, how to login with QR code with the help of Livewire. So I asked my colleague Modestas to build a demo project and the repository link will be in the description below and this is the main button that I will show in this video. First, how does it work and then we'll dive into the code. So the typical use case for login with QR code is this. You're logged in on your mobile device, mobile phone, whether it's web application or application mobile app on Android or iOS, and you want to log into the same application on the web, like Discord, Telegram, and some other apps use that logic. So on the web, you go on the web, you click login with QR code, then the web application generates you the QR code, which you scan with your phone, then it activates the session in the database on the server, and then the web browser is checking for active session and then logs you in automatically without you filling in email and password. And there are multiple ways to build it. Our way is not necessarily the best or the most secure or the recommended way, but I will show you how we build it. So in the database, that QR code represents a table sign-in request. And then when QR code is scanned, that sign-in request gets approved. And when it is approved, the user is logged in automatically. This is Laravel Breeze dashboard without any functionality just to log in. So now we have the session on the web in addition to the session from mobile phone. And actually, we can see both sessions in the profile. We also built this section. For this demonstration, I'm using two browsers, two different browsers on the web because I cannot easily show you the mobile phone screenshot and how it works, but the logic is the same two sessions. Now let's dive into the code and see how it is implemented. Let's start with the database schema models and migrations. And by the way, the link to the repository will be in the description below. It is free, no membership required. And we have two database tables. First, user sessions. So that's where we get the list of sessions from. And then sign in requests. Basically, each request is a QR code. And each QR code has token, unique token for security. And I'll show you how it is generated. And both of those tables have their models. And then the user model has many user sessions or many sign-in requests. Then in the login blade file of Laravel Breeze, underneath the default form, we have this. Livewire component, login with QR code. So this down below is a Livewire component. At first, it shows the button, but when you click it, it shows the QR code without refreshing the page. That's what Livewire is for. So if we click on that component, and by the way, this is done with Laravel IDEA PHP Storm plugin, I can navigate to component or to the blade file of Livewire, which is very convenient. Let's first show the blade. So if the QR code session is not active, which is the default, we just see the button. Then the button click calls the method generate code, which then generates that code and shows this section, which then is refreshed every one second with wire poll mechanism to check if there is an active session, basically if the QR code is scanned or not. Then in the live wire component, we have three properties, the active thing, which you already saw, and then we have the code and active until. When rendering, if we do have the active code, we do log in, we'll get to that in a minute. Otherwise, we just show the blade file. And those two variables are filled in when generate code is pressed. So this is how the QR code is generated. We generate a unique UAD token, encrypt it in the session. Then we create a new database record for sign-in request, which you just saw in the model. We put the ID of that also encrypted another variable in the session. Then we activate that QR code section and put active until for five minutes. And this code is generated with the package QR code. So you can generate the QR code with a specific route. So when scanning that QR code on your mobile phone, what you're actually doing is accessing some kind of URL in this case. And that URL contains the encrypted ID and token and a specific Laravel URL. QR code package is here on top. You can see in the use section, this one. So in the composer JSON, in addition to Livewire, we see that simple software IO, simple QR code. And that crypt class is from Laravel, nothing really fancy here. So in the documentation of Laravel 11, encryption contains all the information you need. In fact, according to the docs, it should have been facade script and crypt and crypt string, but it worked in our case. So maybe both options are possible. So yeah, we generate the code and then we're polling 
every one second again with this, waiting for the QR code to be scanned. And if we access that URL, which is this one, QR Verify Login, in the routes of Laravel Breeze, in addition to typical auth Breeze routes, we have this, Verify, and we have two parameters, ID and token, which are both in the database at that point, and we have a separate controller, which looks like this. Invocable single action controller. We get the sign-in request from the database with ID and token that have been passed. And if it's all successful, then we approve that sign-in request exactly with the fields that you saw already in the database. And then we redirect to route. So this is what happens in your mobile phone. Meanwhile, on the web, LiveWire component is refreshed every second. And then as soon as it catches the active session, then we have this. If we have the correct sign-in request and if it is approved, then we have auth login on the web with user ID. We regenerate the session and add another user session entry to the database and redirect to dashboard. And from there, usual auth, usual Laravel breeze, but on top of that, we have two middlewares for security. So in the bootstrap app file of Laravel 11, this is Laravel 11 syntax, we assign two middlewares to the web group. So on every web request, we will have update last session activity, which is this, just updating the session with update last activity now, basically refreshing the session last activity in the database. And then another middleware is check for session validity. We check if in the database we have the session, and if we don't, then we log out, which allows us to delete any session that we don't want. For example, you want to be logged in on the web, but delete the session from mobile. So in the profile, we built the section which you already saw. And how does that work? In the profile controller of Laravel Breeze, we load the user sessions from the database, eager loading. And then in the edit blade, in addition to typical includes of Laravel Breeze, we have user session include as partial. And then we have for each of the user sessions, show them all with form delete for delete session. And we have a specific route in the routes web this time, not routes auth, route delete user session. And we have remove session controller. So we delete the session and redirect back. So from this route, we can do remove session, either a different session from browser, from mobile or wherever. So if we click remove session, we still have the active session, but then the other user agent would be logged out. And then if we remove the active session, basically we will be logged out. Let's try that. And as you can see, we are redirected to login page again. So yeah, this is the logic. Again, this is only one version to implement that. And wire polling every one second with live wire, maybe not the most effective version. So you can try to build the same maybe with Vue.js or Reverb or whatever you prefer. Livewire, in my opinion, is the quickest way to implement that from developer experience point of view as a backender. But as usual, we can discuss everything in the comments. What would you prefer? Or maybe you have noticed something incorrect in our implementation. The link to the repository will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.